All right, everybody, we have head coach Pat Noonan. Pat, if you just want to start with uh, your thoughts on the disappointing results tonight. Yeah, it's a shame we can't um, find a way to walk off the field with you know, at least a point with the chances that we created and, um, you know, some of the, the moments that we squander uh, where we have too good of looks to, to not finish plays off. You know, you score three goals, got to figure out a way to, to get a result, and um, we're really hurting ourselves in in key moments of the game. You know, the set piece when we were up a goal, and then uh, you know at the end of the half and the beginning of the, the second half, we can concede two goals, and um, and that ends up being the difference. And then you know an unfortunate PK. So uh, those those important moments are what you know are letting our group down right now. Take the questions. Go ahead, Pat Brennan. Thanks a lot, guys. Thanks, Pat, for your time. Um, I, what do you What do you make of uh, the period going into halftime and coming right out of the half? Two crucial goals were scored by Montreal. There. What do you, What do you put that down to? Especially coming out of uh, halftime for the start of the second half. Lack of concentration and, and certainly execution in certain ways. You know, we we let them get in behind right before the break. We still have three guys to be able to deal with, you know, the scramble that allows them to just walk the ball into the goal. So um, that's pretty clear how we can resolve that issue um, at the end of the play. Beginning of the, um, the half, just, you know, something we addressed even at half, making sure we started off strong and, and – you know, found a way to get the next goal in the game and, and you concede within a minute. And so um, I wish I had a better answer right now for, for these moments that were uh, conceding goals and it being too easy to, to score on us. But uh, that's certainly an area that if we can get right, we can um, find better results. So you just kind of identified two pretty broad themes in terms of uh, not finishing off chances and defensively um, hurting hurting yourselves. Do, do you see clear solutions to either of those two problems or both? Or do you think maybe there's something more glaring uh, a little more that might require a little more time to fix there? Just wondering what your perspective is on the two issues. The chance creation, you know, it's, I think it's just uh, the decisiveness and finishing plays off and the, you know, the decision-making we have obviously two looks where we do a good job of getting behind and getting Alvaro into some good spots um, where he's, you know, one be the keeper. And it's just a recognition of, you know, the danger that's behind and, and coming to close him down. So um, just being more decisive because if we find ourselves in those scenarios, I think we'll score plenty of goals um, and play with the lead uh, more often and not let teams back into the game. Um, by giving them hope when, when you miss out on some clear looks. Uh, defensively, you know, the PK is an obvious one. It's a little bit unfortunate, but um, a set piece, we lose our marks. So you, you can look at um, ways to try to figure out how to be more effective on set pieces defensively so we're not conceding chances. Um, and, uh, you know, the end of the half, you know, making sure we keep plays in front of us and we're more secure with the ball and not losing it in, in dangerous areas. So, um, you know, I'd say those are some of the, the early um, assessments of how we can clean up some of these moments. And I, I have a couple questions for you. I'm not sure who else is on the call, but real, just a kind of a big picture question for you. Um, six, seven, and one going into the international break uh, here. Do you feel like that is consistent with your expectations for this group, or do you feel like you guys should have more at this stage in the season? I think the record's fair based on you know performances and in certain areas where we're just not executing enough to be more uh, more consistent with the results. Um, you know, we certainly had a nice stretch defensively that allowed us to go on a run, but you know we lost that a little bit in the last couple of games. Um, but when you look at how we've missed out on some points, I would say there's frustration in the in the sense that we could be in a better place than we currently are. 
Got one more, Pat? Oh uh, yeah, please. Actually, um, just, uh, uh, back to kind of the micro stuff from tonight's game, Pat. Um, Montreal's goal for two to one didn't seem to get much of a second look from the uh, officiating crew. Uh, did you have any problem with the no call there? And I, you, I know you've you've addressed the play itself several times now between TV and here. But um, did you have any problem with the no call there? I have to get a better um, look at it. I don't know. Live, it looked like there was a, you know, a possible yellow just in, in terms of how Junior was brought down. Um, but again, it's there's plenty of things that happen after that that we could have done better. So it's easy to yeah. blame officials in those moments. I don't think it was a, a well managed game at all. But you know, on both sides and. Uh, and then in the end, that's what kind of makes things hectic at times. And, uh, you know, how, how we manage those those moments where uh, it's not managed properly, you know, that's where we can get better. And um, oh, can I squeeze one more in, John? Yeah, one more, Pat. Uh, thank you, guys. I appreciate it a lot. Um, just, uh, you know, Roman, um, I don't think any reasonable person would put either of the last two results squarely on Roman uh, had a couple, you know, like that play at the end of the first half, you could reasonably call that just unfortunate, got hands on the PK ball still crept in. Uh, do you see him? Do you see Roman responding to these things in the right way? And uh, do you have any concerns about his, his confidence right now? I think he handles it in the right way, you know, yeah. Execution's another thing, but uh, I don't think there's anything concerning about his mentality. He wants to be out there helping our group win games. And there's things that um, he can do better, but there's things that our entire group needs to do better to, to prevent him from having to, to be in some of the scenarios that he's in. So, yeah. Um, by, by no means is this on, on one player. This is our yeah. entire group, myself included, that um, could have done a better job to find a way to get points on the evening. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Yeah, sure. Thanks a lot, John. Junior, thank you for taking the time tonight. Uh, just what, what were your thoughts on the uh, result tonight, just to start out? Obviously bad, because we, we lost the game. We tried to to win until the end. Uh, we pushing. Uh, I keeping with the effort uh, to the, all the team. Uh, nothing. Uh, fix those details, fix uh, those mistakes. Uh, for me, we have uh, a good half, a good first half. We create a lot of chances to to be and in, in advance in the in, in the score, but uh, nothing. We need to like uh, in this break, uh, keep going, uh, keep training, and push uh, each other to to be uh, in the in the first spot. Uh, Junior, you had a couple great finishes tonight. How did it feel to get your first goals? Uh, for the club, yeah, obviously happy to uh, for a score. Uh, not that happy because we we lose the game and we can we cannot help uh, to win the team. But uh, happy, happy to uh, to make those uh, first goals with the with the with the team. The first goal was you know rel a relatively it, it was like a simple one from very close. Um, the se the second goal was you know very impressive. Um, did you were you thinking in that moment that if the ball came to your feet that you would have that you would have the shot from that distance? We we training uh, that is what where uh, we training in the uh, during the training in the week. Uh, obviously, the first one uh, the first one was uh, as a pieces uh, to, to work in, in in the week, and the second one uh, was a good ball to for, for Bennett, and we 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 work in do, uh, we work in that too, and. And they're turning us what? And um, is it, you know, to lose a match in this way now going into a lengthy break, Junior? Is that, um, is that especially frustrating knowing that you'll have, you know, three weeks, however long it is before you guys can go back and get a, you know, try to find another result to put this one in the past? Yes, obviously uh, we want to finish uh, this this break or this part of, of, of the season, uh, win that, that uh, win, win this game and uh, obviously it's, it's frustrating, but hey, uh, 
this this break uh, is is uh, help help uh, to us to to train and to fix uh, those details in, uh, in the field, those details or those mistakes that I that we made in, in, in the game, and it's like that we we go uh, game by game by game and and make the results uh, to happen. And Junior, going into this break, the club's record is uh, six wins, seven losses, and one draw. Do you feel like that is fair for FC Cincinnati? And or, or excuse me, or do you feel like maybe you guys should have more from the season so far? Oh, obviously, we 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 are we we need more. Uh, it's frustrating. It's frustrating because I feeling like. Uh, each game the, that we play, uh, we are not uh, less than the other teams. We create a lot of chances uh, to score, to go in winning uh, those games, but it's, it's, it is what it is. Uh, now uh, keep uh, or keep that mentality in this break, push, for, push forward, and, and, and that, that we see what happens. John, can I pop another one? Yeah, yeah, one, one more. Right. Thank you so much, Junior. Thanks a lot for your time, man, and have a safe flight. Um, when Brenner came into the game, it seemed like FC Cincinnati like regained its its footing in the match. Do you, what how, what was how did you how do you feel Brenner played tonight? Because uh, he hadn't played in about a month, <clears throat> and uh, do you feel like he added something when he came on? No, it's coming. It's coming from from injuries, so or is. Is like building uh, physically and building, and obviously it's, it's a guy or it's a player who who gonna help a lot and in, in, in the next in the next game uh, is coming in the best way to to help to the team and and I think it's it's gonna it's gonna be in in the best and the best fit possible in, in the next in the next game.